Okay. Nagaraju Yadav. Nagaraju Yadav. You heard from Yashwardhan Azad. The point being made yeah. here is of the larger incidents in other states. But let's me go into the specifics of this particular charge sheet. And it says that the uh, assailants targeted Harsha as a plan to terrorize Hindu community. The fact is when that incident happened, politicians also added fuel to fire. We have seen yes. how in Karnataka in recent times, po political parties choose to really make statements which polarize uh, the society. But when it comes to standing up for the rights of those two minors who was allegedly abused, assaulted for three years and two years by a mutt, a, a, you know, pontiff, none of you took a stand. So my question then is, what will you say to this charge sheet? See, the charge sheet, whatever is done, it is done by NIA. It is not done by any political, political party as such. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe the people are accusing about it because the, the constitutional authorities have been misused for political needs in the country, which is a which is a very serious matter today. Well, now, basically, coming to the issue of Karnataka and uh, hate speeches and hate killing is the main concern. It's not only Karnataka, the whole country. Today, Karnataka, as you know very well, Karnataka is a very progressive state. Always stood number one for uh, innovation and for secularism and pluralism. But today, whenever the BJP is in power, why this? Why this kind of uh, criminal activities come to the forefront? Why the government which is in play, which is in place, uh, is not controlling the anti-social elements activities in the state of Karnataka, which is which is leading to so many confusion in Karnataka, which is not acceptable okay. to anybody. So you are, I'm not talking you are only making a political point here. You are making a political point here, Mr. Prakash. This is almost appearing that be it hijab, halal, loudspeaker, CA, NRC, all this is being prepared by the Karnataka BJP in the run-up to 2023 elections. Issues. Let me ask. No, I would like to clarify to Mr. Nagaraj on the front. The 22 murders were took place during Siddharamaya regime. 22 Hindu youths were murdered and none of them have been properly probed. That's Mr. that Mr. apart. Mr. That Mr. apart. Mr. None Mr. of the Mr. none Mr. of the agitations Mr. you raised Mr. are, Mr. are Mr. sponsored Mr. by Mr. BJP, Mr. are steered Mr. by the BJP. Mr. If Mr. some Mr. Hindu Mr. organization Mr. raised Mr. those Mr. issues, Mr. BJP Mr. cannot be faulted so, so for it. Is not a whether Hindu Muslim. Sir, Hindu over, sir. Mr. Nagaraj Yadav, I have moved over from that. Yes. None of the issues you raised are, cannot be faulted to BJP. It is not our agenda. Hijab was started by the campus front of India, uh, offshoot of PFI. It, it, it was not started by BJP. Let, us, let, us, let it be very clear. We, we are ruling the state. We have, we have a resp responsibility to govern the state peacefully and maintain the communal harmony. And the government is doing that. The fringe Garmin, element, the radical Garmin, elements Garmin, Garmin, are out to create a, a communal disharmony and targeted it killings are engineered. Only because you have an agenda of targeting minorities. Sir, you are targeting a majority. Then shall I accuse that? Is that the way we go forward? You uh, should not. Take everybody together. Intolerance is not acceptable to India. Please, please, please don't insult the constitution of India. Sir... You are talking about the Ramaya is the number one divide, come, divider of the society. Your leader, Mr. Siddharamaya, is dividing the society with this irresponsible statement. Kindly restrain him. No, no, I will not stop. Siddharamaya. Hindu or Muslim. Killing is killing. NIA has to be left free to do that kind of work. Whether it's CBI, whether it's CD, whether it's NIA, should not be used for political needs. Then which investigating agency do you have faith in? If you feel that all investigating agencies, in, in fact, NIA, which investigates cases of terror, are is now being politicized the manner in which it has been, Yashwardhan Azad, then the politicians seem to be dismissing every agency. CBI, ED is being misused for fixing opposition, and now NIA being misused for fixing somebody. I told you, Maria, that any, any discussion of this kind will be definitely drowned in an uproar with competing claims from both sides abusing each other and never a solution will be found. You know, in such cases, I always feel that whenever there is a kind of a uh, communal conflagration, this should be immediately 
be investigated by an agency like the NIA. And I'm absolutely right, whether it's Pehlu Khan, whether it's Harsha, or whether it's anything, just put one agency on the job and you'll see the result. And secondly, as I said earlier, unless you have a, a tough law and order uh, enforcement agencies, this will never be resolved because you have seen that in various states, either is either is appeasement or either is promoting the right. So it's a question of how do you resolve these? This will continue. This kind of debates and this kind of arguments will carry on unless we find some solution. Yes. One solution yes. is that both the parties come together, which is not expected. And so the second thing is that we hope that a few good men in the security agency will stand up and do their job and be very tough on any kind of communal distance. No, but the larger question is, is, are there some men like these or leaders like these who will talk about not involve, you know, raising a doubt over the functioning of investigating agencies, particularly NIA, because that has to deal with cases of terror. And that is a very, very sensitive matter, Mr. Nagaraju. Yeah, Can very, very seriously. What, absolutely. Whatever the police officer said that I accept it now very clearly. I'm telling you, mm. madam, the religious kind of politics should be kept away. Polarization of politics should be kept away. Development should come to the forefront of uh, politics and development is a, should be an agenda. Mm. This political party, which is in power in the country and the state, religious polarization has been taken as the first priority, which is the reason of all these things. Intolerance in the country, all over the places, is not acceptable. Order. Whether it's a Muslim killing or whether it's Hindu killing or, or uh, vandalizing the church which is not acceptable to any Indian Mr. today. We, we are law-abiding citizens Mr. today. Why are, we, why are we not accepting this? We are, we are born with, we are born with the peace. Prakash. And we are, we are, see, we are the example. See, of if we start doubting the investigating agency, what we don't want NIA, we, we don't want CB. Can the FBI no, did, uh, investigate what, these cases? We should have faith in our investigating agencies. And whatever the report is submitted is not the final. It has to be... Uh, uh, it has to, it will go to the court and they have to prove in the court of law that whatever the investigation they have carried out has some credi cre credibility, evidence is available, only then it can become final. And mere pro presenting the you know, uh, uh, FIR to the court does not mean that the court case has ended. We, they should, why the, the democracy? Why you are saying that the 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 law of the land? Why, why are not why condemning the, them? The, the politicians are the why last why people to dictate and declare the, which agency is to be investigated of any cases. That let, 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 the, what Congress that did during the 70 years of their rule, everybody has seen it. Let us. Okay, Adam.